I've just got these wonderful daffodils, which are now in full bloom. I like painting them when they're in bud and when the, the yellow is just starting to appear, maybe a petal or two as well. When they're in full flower, there's just too much yellow. I find it quite difficult to make that into a painting that's balanced and which is expressing my love of the yellow. In fact, more often than not, I end up thinking, oh, I hate that yellow. So I've been thinking about this for some time. In the past, I might have painted this and then put quite a lot of cool blues and violets in the shadows. But I haven't been that pleased with that either. So what I'm thinking about today is how can I set up my still life so there's some balance, so that the yellows are in a sort of balanced conversation, if you like. So looking at this now, what I'm wondering about is introducing this bowl. This bowl is similar in hue to the yellows. It's probably a little bit more orange. I mean, there is quite a bit of orange yellow in the flowers, but it's lower intensity. That means it's sort of low saturation. It's not as bright as the yellow, the overall impression of the yellow in the flowers. And so that gives it some connection to the flowers because it's similar in colour and hue, but it also gives it some contrast in that it's a different level of saturation. It's much darker, duller. The other thing I notice is that this bowl kind of sets up some sort of contrast with the white jug. That's very plain and minimalist. And this has got the pattern on it. And I find myself thinking, well, I could play around with that in a painting. So that means I'm, I've got the possibility of a conversation developing between the elements in the picture. Something else I find myself wondering about is introducing this uh, coffee jug. It's like, um, it's old. It's, it's got a softness to it, which I like. Um, the luster is nice. It's shiny, but it's not too shiny. It's a soft shiny. When I introduce that into paintings, I think I'm going to put it on this side, actually. I then get the possibility of reflections. If I can manage to set up reflections, I then get a sort of um, spatial recession in the painting. And I quite like working with that. Um, it, it's just something that I find interesting, relating the very kind of dull reflection to the actual brightness of the flowers. And also, this is quite a silvery uh, kind of grey. It's quite cool. It relates to this because they're, they've both got smooth surfaces. Um, and it's also not far away in terms of tone, but it's can't work out if it's warmer or cooler. I mean, I mean, my first impression is, oh, this is a cool grey, but when I come to painting it, I might find that it's actually got warm qualities that I like. Um, but primarily, I like how it relates to the yellow. I feel like I can have some fun with that. So something else that I've noticed knocking around in the studio is this uh, bunch of magnolia flowers. Yeah, I picked them this morning. No, I didn't. They are, they're actually uh, made out of fabric. But they're, they're quite nice ones, actually. I don't use them very often. But right now, I'm thinking, what if I put those in there? Oh, I like that. You see, what's interesting here is that there's some colour in these magnolias, but it's not too bright quite subtle and it's 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 nearly opposite to the yellow on, on the so-called colour wheel 
Um, there's a good, it's, it's violet really, and I like how, how they're relating to each other. It's like contrasting with the yellow. Um, and I think, I think I could find that really interesting to paint. What I also like about the magnolias is that they are a different scale to the daffodils. They, there's this really large bloom here. I think if they were all the same size, then I don't think it would be so interesting. So whenever you're setting up the still lives, a good thing to think about is differences and similarities. And that's what I try to think of anyway. I mean, in a way, this and this are possibly a bit too similar in size. You know, if, if there's a bit more contrast there, it might work better. In actual fact, I've got this little pot, uh, which I picked up in a charity shop. It's a little French coffee cup, I think. Um, and I'm looking at the lustre on this. It's quite dark, but it's shiny. And I can see the correspondence between this and the uh, texture and the mushroomy colours in the magnolias. But I also like the fact that this is quite small in relation to these and it's quite dark in tone. So what if I put that there instead of that? I mean, I could still keep this bowl, but what happens then? I, mean, I could even put it there. No, I think it needs to be a bit further away. So, so I'm getting, might not be obvious on the camera, but I'm getting this conversation between the texture and the colour in the flowers and what's happening on the little coffee pot. And then I've got a difference in scale between this and this and a difference in tone, but then they're both utensils with handles on, so I've got a similarity. So I'm starting to get a conversation happening here that I feel I can make into a picture. Just one last thing. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not, but what happens when you're creating pictures is that you're listening to yourself and you might say, hear yourself saying, oh, I'd like to give that a go. So if, if that happens to you, then I'd recommend giving it a go, even if you decide not to do it in the end. So I'm just wondering if I somehow put that there, might get a little slither of blue in the picture. Maybe over here, this is another little blue jug that I managed to snap up in a charity shop. So I'm not sure about that. I think it looks, oh, I can't make up my mind. Maybe it can be hiding there. So I'm just thinking of a little bit more of a shift on the colour wheel, but it, it might be better without. In fact, whilst I'm looking at it from this angle, I'm seeing some lovely, interesting shapes and, and uh, you know, that, that's, that's really exciting. So as I'm looking at this now, I realise that I'm getting more and more excited about it actually, and I really want to paint it. And that's exactly where I need to be.